So if you check in the description on this video, you're going to see a link to our starting project. This Google Sheets file called Grade Averages that's got a very, very basic, bare bones grade book. One column of students, not even full names of those students, and then one column of grades, the respective letter grades of those students. And we're going to use this to learn how the formula of a query is constructed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these students and their grades and we're going to use them to create a new sheet that we're going to name a honor roll. And this is where we're going to populate the students who only had A's, none of the others. But to start with, we're going to do something even easier to familiarize ourselves with the formula for a query, we're just going to import all of the students. Now I know that you're saying, okay, well, why would I use a query for that when I could literally come over here and then just jump into this sheet and use like the equals, come over here to grade averages, you know, pull in grade averages A1, drag that over here to B1, and then drag down until I've got all of my students in. You know, and you're right, we could do that if we really wanted to. But as we're going to see when we move into future lectures, that is not going to have the full power that a query presents us with. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and erase this. Yes, our, our initial result here is going to look like that, but we're going to fine tune it as we learn more about a query. Okay, so let's talk the formula of a query. It's very basic and it's very easy to kind of learn, um, but it is very challenging as you start to look at all the possibilities it provides you. So let's start by just hitting equals and typing query. Okay, so when you do that, you should get this little prompt that says runs Google Visualization API Query Language Query. And then if you open a parenth, you're going to then be presented with the formula and its relative parameters. Now, two of these parameters are required and one is optional. The data and query parameters are required, but the headers parameter is optional. And I'll talk about each of these different parameters. If you'd like to learn more though, you can always expand details. But let me walk you through this. The data is going to be the source where you're pulling in information for your query. So this is going to be any number of cells. It can be cells in the same sheet, cells in a different sheet, it can be cells in a different workbook, and if you're really advanced, it can actually be cells in multiple workbooks. You can actually do very advanced queries that have multiple sources uh, for that data. So that's data. Our data, for the purposes of this query, is going to come from grade averages. The query part portion of the query is where you're actually stating what values from the data you're wanting to return. And there are going to be two keywords that you're going to see used in most of the queries. There's going to be more than that, but for starters, we're going to talk about the first two keywords that we're going to see in almost every query we're going to build. The first is select, and the second is where. So let's talk select. Select is where you're going to essentially say, when you return data, what columns do you actually want to return? For example, for my grade averages here, do I want to return the students and their grades, or do I just want to return the students? So that is select. Where is where we begin to make conditional statements. So we're setting terms and parameters. Only do this, only return these values, when, or in this case, where, this particular condition is met. We're not going to use it in our first query here, but we will be using it in the next few lectures. So data, that's our source. Query is going to use select and potentially where as well to return a subset or all of that data. And then finally, headers is an optional parameter. And for headers, what you're essentially telling the query function is the number of header rows from your source data. You can leave this blank, or you can put a negative one, and in either of those cases, the query will attempt to interpret how many header rows there are. Or you, if you know there's only one, you can also just put one to inform the query of that. Okay, so those are the parameters of your basic query function. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start building this. So we're gonna 
we have our parentheses open. We're going to click on grade averages and we're going to start by saying, hey, you decided not to uh, keep that open. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to click on grade averages, come over here for my query. I'm going to move it over here to A1 and then I'm going to go all the way down and then over here. So I can do A1 to B12, but let's say there was an unknown number of students and grades here and I didn't want to just do these 12. You can for a query also do just the columns, A to B. So that's our data. I just want anything that populates here. And initially, it might actually pull in all these blank cells as well, but we'll talk about that as we move forward. So I'm going to the grade averages sheet in my workbook and I'm looking at columns A and B as my data. Now it's time for the query. Now this is a really important part of constructing these query functions. You must always put your query between double quotes. So as you write it out, you're going to put it between double quotes. And your query is going to start with select. This is again where I tell it which of these columns I want to return. But for our initial query here, I'm going to say I just want to return everything from my source data. And to do that, you just put select followed by an asterisk. And then finally, remember this final term for headers is optional. I can leave it blank if I want to. I can put negative one, but I know I have one header uh, row, so I'm going to go ahead and put a one and close my query. And when I hit enter, I now have populated this using this formula. I have populated all of my data for my grade averages here in my A honor roll sheet. So congratulations, we did our first query, but you may notice <laughs> these students do not fulfill the criteria for being a honor roll. Only some of them do, but not all of them. So in our next tutorial, we're going to talk a little bit more about how we can massage this portion of the query to actually better provide us with students matching this specific criteria. So I'll see you in the next lecture.